Gregory Peck, a titan of the silver screen, lived a life that resonated deeply with integrity and purpose. In Leonardo da Vinci's words, as a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death, aptly describes Peck's legacy. To turn down a lot of pretty good scripts, because I know that at best they're only going to be pretty good, no matter what we do. His life, rich in meaningful work and acts of kindness, mirrors a day well spent, leaving behind a night of contented rest. Join us as we delve into the captivating life and tragic end of Gregory Peck, a story worth learning from. Gregory Peck's Early Life Gregory Peck, a name that evokes both admiration and a sense of melancholy, his life was a tapestry woven with the threads of talent, charisma, and an indomitable spirit. But alas, it was also stained with tragedy that left us mourning the loss of a great actor. In the tapestry of Hollywood's golden era, few threads are as vibrant and enduring as the life and career of Eldred Gregory Peck. Born on April 5, 1916 in San Diego, California, Peck's journey from a boy with modest beginnings to a cinematic icon is a narrative rich with determination, transformation, and serendipity. But what is it about Gregory Peck's early life that sculpted him into the emblem of integrity and gravitas he became on the silver screen? Imagine a young Gregory navigating the aftermath of his parents' divorce, a pivotal event that saw him relocating to live with his grandmother. This move wasn't just a change of scenery. It was an introduction to a new world, one where the arts flourished and culture thrived. San Diego, with its eclectic mix of people and the hum of the burgeoning film industry not too far away in Los Angeles, provided the perfect backdrop for Peck's early encounters with the world of acting. But was it fate or a fortuitous accident that led him to the stage? Peck's high school years were marked not by dramatic performances, but by athleticism and oratory, hinting at a future not in film, but perhaps in another sphere of public life. Yet it was at the University of California, Berkeley, that the winds of destiny began to shift. Intending to pursue a career in medicine, Peck found himself drawn instead to the magnetic pull of the stage. Peck's transition from the stages of New York to the sound stages of Hollywood wasn't immediate, but his breakthrough came as it often does for those whose talent and hard work intersect with opportunity. His film debut in Days of Glory showcased not just an actor of considerable skill, but a presence that commanded attention. I could weep. Then I look for something else to destroy and the feeling goes away. It was the start of a career that would see Peck embody roles ranging from the morally upright lawyer Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird to the troubled Captain Ahab in Moby Dick. In reflecting on Gregory Peck's early life, one cannot help but ponder the confluence of events, choices, and serendipities that shaped him. Was it the resilience instilled by early challenges, the influence of mentors who saw his potential, or simply the unyielding pursuit of a passion that led him to become one of the most revered actors of his time? Perhaps it was all these things, woven together in the rich tapestry of a life lived fully, passionately, and with an unwavering commitment to the art of storytelling that made him a great actor. Career Startup The early career of Gregory Peck was a chapter in his life that laid the foundation for his eventual rise to stardom. It was a time of aspirations, challenges, and the pursuit of dreams. Like many aspiring actors, Peck's journey began with humble beginnings. After graduating from the University of California, Berkeley, he ventured to New York City, where he enrolled in the prestigious Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater. It was there that he honed his craft, studying under the renowned acting coach Sanford Meisner. In the late 1940s, Peck made his debut on Broadway in the play The Morning Star, which garnered critical acclaim and paved the way for his transition to the silver screen. His film debut came in 1944 with Days of Glory, where he showcased his talent and garnered attention for his commanding presence. But it was the year 1946 that would prove to be a turning point in Peck's career. He starred in The Yearling, a film adaptation of Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings novel, which earned him his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. This film not only showcased his acting prowess, but also his ability to embody complex characters with depth and vulnerability. Peck's star continued to rise in the following years, 
as he took on a variety of roles that showcased his versatility. In 1947, he delivered a captivating performance as a journalist in Gentleman's Agreement, a film that tackled the issue of anti-Semitism and earned him his first Academy Award for Best Actor. This role solidified his status as one of Hollywood's leading men and established him as an actor who was unafraid to tackle socially relevant themes. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Peck further solidified his reputation with a series of iconic performances. From the stoic and principled Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird to the tormented Captain Ahab in Moby Dick, he continued to captivate audiences with his commanding presence and nuanced portrayals. Peck's early career was marked by a determination to take on challenging roles and tackle important issues through his work. He showcased a range of emotions and displayed a deep understanding of the human condition. It was this commitment to his craft that set him apart and laid the groundwork for his enduring legacy. As we look back on the early years of Gregory Peck's career, we see a young man driven by a passion for acting, willing to take risks and explore the depths of his talent. It was a time of growth, exploration, and the seeds of greatness being sown. Little did he know that his early successes would be just the beginning of a remarkable journey that would leave an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Awards and accolades, the glittering jewels that adorn the career of Gregory Peck. Throughout his illustrious journey in the world of acting, Peck amassed a collection of honors that recognized his immense talent and the profound impact he had on the film industry. Peck's first taste of recognition came in 1943 when he received his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor for his role in The Yearling. Although he didn't win the award that year, it marked the beginning of a series of accolades that would follow. In 1947, Peck triumphed at the 20th Academy Awards, taking home the coveted Oscar for Best Actor for his performance in Gentleman's Agreement. The film tackled the sensitive topic of anti-Semitism, and Peck's portrayal of a journalist posing as a Jewish man to expose discrimination was hailed as a powerful and transformative performance. Peck's prowess as an actor continued to be acknowledged by his peers and the industry. In 1950, he received another Academy Award nomination for Best Actor for his role in Twelve O'Clock High, a gripping war drama that showcased his ability to portray complex and conflicted characters. Then came the iconic role that would forever be etched in the annals of cinema, Atticus Finch, in the 1962 film adaptation of Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. Peck's portrayal of the principled lawyer defending an innocent African-American man earned him his fifth Academy Award nomination and, ultimately, his first and only Oscar win for Best Actor. The character of Atticus Finch became synonymous with Peck himself, solidifying his status as a legendary actor. In addition to the Academy Awards, Peck received numerous other prestigious accolades throughout his career. He was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 969, recognizing his contributions to the arts and his advocacy for social justice causes. The American Film Institute also bestowed upon him their Life Achievement Award in 1989, acknowledging his outstanding contributions to the world of film. Peck's impact extended beyond the United States. In 1991, he received the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award at the Academy Awards, recognizing his philanthropic efforts and his commitment to making a positive difference in the world. As we reflect on the awards and accolades bestowed upon Gregory Peck, we see a testament to his exceptional talent, unwavering dedication, and the profound impact he had on audiences around the globe. Each award was a testament to his ability to breathe life into characters, to touch hearts, and to use his platform to shed light on important social issues. Gregory Peck's legacy is not just in the golden statues and accolades he amassed, but in the enduring impact he had on the art of acting and the power of cinema to inspire and provoke change. His awards stand as a testament to his remarkable career, forever illuminating the path he paved for future generations of actors and actresses to follow, things he loved doing apart from acting. While Gregory Peck was undoubtedly passionate about his craft as an actor, there were many other facets of life that he found joy in and pursued with equal fervor. Beyond the silver screen, 
Peck had a range of interests and activities that brought him fulfillment and allowed him to explore different aspects of his multifaceted personality. One of Peck's great loves was the art of storytelling. He had a deep appreciation for literature and enjoyed immersing himself in the world of books. He was an avid reader, often delving into works of fiction, non-fiction, and classic literature. Peck's love for literature not only enriched his own mind, but also influenced his approach to acting, as he sought to understand the complexities of characters and their stories. Peck was also a dedicated traveler, finding inspiration in exploring new places and immersing himself in different cultures. He had a thirst for adventure, and his journeys took him to various corners of the world. From picturesque European cities to remote African landscapes, Peck delighted in experiencing the diversity and beauty of our planet. Also, Peck had a strong sense of social justice and actively engaged in political and humanitarian causes. He was an ardent supporter of civil rights, lending his voice and influence to promote equality and justice. Peck marched alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. during the civil rights movement and was involved in various philanthropic endeavors throughout his life. Beyond his personal interests, Peck cherished his role as a family man. He found solace and happiness in spending time with his loved ones, particularly his children. Despite the challenges he faced with his son's illness, Peck remained dedicated to his family and drew strength from their bond. Additionally, Peck had a fondness for the great outdoors. He enjoyed activities such as hiking, fishing, and horseback riding. Nature provided him with a sense of tranquility and allowed him to disconnect from the demands of the spotlight. Peck's multifaceted interests and passions exemplify his deep curiosity and zest for life. He embraced a holistic approach to living, finding joy in intellectual pursuits, cultural exploration, social activism, and personal connections. Though acting was at the core of his professional life, Gregory Peck's personal interests and endeavors added depth and richness to his character. They served as outlets for self-expression, personal growth, and a way to make a positive impact on the world beyond the realm of cinema. Relationship with his closest friends. Gregory Peck was known for his warm and genuine nature, which extended to his relationships with his closest friends. Throughout his life, he formed deep bonds with fellow actors, directors, and individuals in the entertainment industry. These friendships were marked by trust, mutual respect, and shared experiences. One of Peck's closest friends was the legendary actor and filmmaker, Audrey Hepburn. They first met while working on the film Roman Holiday in 1953, which earned Hepburn an Academy Award for Best Actress and Peck, a nomination for Best Actor. Their friendship blossomed during the filming process, and they developed a deep admiration and respect for each other. Peck often spoke fondly of Hepburn, praising her talent, grace, and humanitarian efforts. They remained lifelong friends, and their bond endured even after Hepburn's passing in 1993. Another significant friendship in Peck's life was with the renowned director William Wyler. They collaborated on several memorable films, including Roman Holiday, The Big Country, and Funny Girl. Wyler became not only a trusted collaborator, but also a close friend and mentor to Peck. Their working relationship was characterized by a shared vision and a deep appreciation for their craft. Peck also had a long-lasting friendship with his frequent co-star and fellow Hollywood legend, Lauren Bacall. They appeared together in films like Designing Woman and The Shootist. Their friendship extended beyond the screen, and they supported each other both personally and professionally. Bacall once described Peck as her best friend in the business, highlighting the depth of their bond. In addition to these notable friendships, Peck had a wide circle of friends within the entertainment industry. He was known for his generosity, kindness, and loyalty, qualities that endeared him to many. His friendships were not confined to his peers. He also formed meaningful connections with crew members, assistants, and other individuals he encountered throughout his career. Gregory Peck's relationships with his closest friends were characterized by mutual admiration, support, and a shared love for their craft. These friendships enriched his life, providing him with companionship, inspiration, 
and a sense of camaraderie in an industry that can often be demanding and isolating. His ability to forge deep connections was a testament to his genuine nature and the lasting impact he had on those fortunate enough to know him intimately. Marriage and Children His personal life was marked by a long and successful marriage, as well as a loving family. In 1942, he married his first wife, Finnish-born Greta Kukkonen, with whom he had three children, Jonathan, Stephen, and Carrie Paul. However, their marriage faced challenges, and they divorced in 1955. Shortly after his divorce, Peck met Veronique Passani, a French journalist, and they began a relationship. They eventually married in 1955 and remained together for the rest of Peck's life. Veronique became a beloved and supportive partner, accompanying Peck to various events and premieres throughout his career. In 956, Peck and Veronique welcomed their first child, a son named Anthony. They later had two more children, Cecilia in 1958 and Anthony in 1959. Peck was a devoted family man and took great joy in spending time with his children. He made it a priority to balance his professional commitments with his role as a father, often involving his children in his travels and introducing them to the world of film. Tragically, in 1975, Peck's eldest son, Jonathan, died by suicide at the age of 30. This loss deeply affected Peck and his family, and he became an advocate for mental health awareness and suicide prevention in the years that followed. Despite the challenges they faced, Peck and Veronique's marriage endured, and they remained devoted to each other until Peck's passing in 2003. Veronique continued to honor Peck's legacy after his death, preserving his memory and supporting initiatives related to his philanthropic work. Gregory Peck's marriage to Veronique and his role as a father to his children were central to his personal life. He found love, stability, and solace in his family, and they provided a source of strength and support throughout his career and personal endeavors. Peck's dedication to his family underscored his values and demonstrated the importance he placed on love, loyalty, and nurturing relationships. Personal Challenges Despite his tremendous success and esteemed reputation, Gregory Peck faced personal challenges throughout his life. These challenges shaped him as an individual and influenced both his personal and professional journey. One of the significant personal challenges Peck encountered was the strained relationship with his first wife, Greta Kukkonen. Their marriage faced difficulties, and they eventually divorced in 1955. Divorce can be emotionally challenging and disruptive, and it undoubtedly had an impact on Peck's personal life during that period. Tragedy struck Peck's family when his eldest son, Jonathan, died by suicide in 1975. This devastating loss had a profound effect on Peck and his entire family. It was a personal struggle that deeply impacted him, and he became an advocate for mental health awareness and suicide prevention, using his platform to raise awareness and support initiatives in these areas. Peck faced the pressures and demands of being a public figure in the entertainment industry. While he achieved great success as an actor, the scrutiny and expectations that came with fame could be challenging to navigate. The constant public attention and the need to balance personal and professional life can take a toll on an individual's well-being. Furthermore, Peck experienced the natural ups and downs that come with the passage of time. As he aged, he faced the challenges of maintaining his health and navigating the changes that come with getting older. These physical and emotional challenges are part of the human experience and can impact anyone, regardless of their achievements or status. Despite these personal challenges, Gregory Peck demonstrated resilience, grace, and an unwavering commitment to his craft and the causes he believed in. He used his personal struggles as opportunities for growth, advocacy, and connection with others facing similar challenges. Peck's ability to persevere and maintain his integrity in the face of personal difficulties is a testament to his strength of character and his dedication to making a positive impact in the world. Cause of Death Gregory Peck passed away on June 20, 2003, at the age of 87. His death in his Los Angeles home was attributed to bronchopneumonia. Peck, revered not just for his commanding performances, but also for his off-screen integrity and humanitarian efforts, 
left behind a legacy that transcended his filmography. The news of Peck's passing was met with a profound sense of loss, not only within the confines of Hollywood, but also among his fans around the globe. His family, including his wife Veronique Peck and his children, were enveloped in a wave of support from friends, colleagues, and admirers of Peck's work. Veronique, in the wake of her husband's death, expressed her appreciation for the outpouring of love and admiration for Peck, noting how much he had touched the lives of those who had known him personally and those who had admired him from afar. The reaction from fans and the film community highlighted the deep connection Peck had forged with his audience. Across various platforms, tributes poured in, reflecting on the profound impact of his work. Film critics and historians penned extensive retrospectives of his career, emphasizing not only his iconic film roles, but also his contributions to social causes and the film industry at large. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, along with various film preservation societies, organized screenings and events to honor Peck's legacy, ensuring that his contributions to cinema would continue to inspire future generations. Fans worldwide revisited his most famous films, sharing personal anecdotes about how his performances had impacted their lives, reinforcing the timeless appeal of his work. Gregory Peck's death was indeed a moment of collective mourning, but it was also a time for reflection on the enduring power of cinema to shape ideals, influence culture, and leave a lasting imprint on society. Through his roles, Peck had become more than just an actor. He had become a symbol of integrity, a beacon of humanity, and a cherished memory in the collective consciousness of his fans and followers. Lights, camera, inspiration. Gregory Peck's life story is a reel of valuable lessons that can ignite our own journeys. So grab some popcorn and get ready for the show. Lesson 1. Chase your dreams with unwavering passion. Peck's relentless pursuit of his acting career reminds us to fearlessly chase our own passions. Just like he dove into each role with gusto, we should embrace our dreams wholeheartedly, knowing that dedication and hard work can lead to extraordinary achievements. Lesson 2. Let integrity be your guiding star. Peck's commitment to portraying characters with depth and moral complexity shines a light on the importance of ethics and honesty in our own lives. His characters taught us that being true to ourselves and others, even in the face of temptation, is a mark of true strength. Lesson 3. Use your fame for a noble cause. With great fame comes great responsibility, and Peck wholeheartedly embraced this truth. He used his platform to advocate for civil rights and mental health awareness, proving that our voices can make a difference. His example inspires us to use our own influence to bring about positive change in the world. Lesson 4. Cherish the power of connections. Peck's deep friendships and strong family bonds remind us of the profound impact that genuine relationships can have on our lives. Just like he valued personal connections, we should make an effort to nurture and cherish the people who bring love and support into our world. Lesson 5. Rise above adversity with resilience. Life threw its share of challenges at Peck, from a strained marriage to the heartbreaking loss of a child. However, he showed us that setbacks can be transformed into stepping stones. His resilience and ability to turn personal struggles into advocacy serve as a powerful reminder that we can find strength in the face of adversity. Lesson 6. Embrace the beauty of aging gracefully. Peck continued to inspire, create, and contribute well into his later years. His example is a testament to the fact that age should never be a barrier to making a meaningful impact. It's a reminder for us to embrace every stage of life, knowing that we have the power to leave a lasting legacy. Lesson 7. Find harmony in the dance of life. Peck's ability to balance his personal and professional life serves as a gentle reminder that success isn't solely measured by career achievements. It's about finding harmony, nurturing relationships, and creating a fulfilling life that encompasses all the roles and responsibilities we hold. Lights fade, credits roll, but the lessons from Gregory Peck's remarkable life continue to resonate. His story encourages us to pursue our dreams, live with integrity, make a difference, cherish connections, overcome challenges, age gracefully, and find balance. So let's grab our own starring role in life 
and let the lessons we've learned script our own extraordinary journey. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.